the United States dollar has maintained a preeminent position in the global financial system for decades, serving as the world's primary reserve currency and the de facto medium of exchange for international trade and transactions. However, this long-standing dollar hegemony has come under increasing scrutiny and pressure in recent years, as countries around the world seek greater financial independence and reduced exposure to the economic policies and sanctions of the United States. If you are new to our channel, please leave a like as well as a sub so you never miss another video. This movement away from dollar reliance, often referred to as dollarization, is driven by a confluence of factors, including concerns over the volatility of the dollar, the dominance of Western financial institutions, and the desire for a more multipolar economic order. At the forefront of this transition are the BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, which collectively account for a significant share of global GDP and trade. The BRICS have played a leading role in promoting alternative financial mechanisms to challenge the dollar's supremacy. One notable effort is the establishment of the New Development Bank in 2014, which aims to fund infrastructure projects and reduce developing countries' dependence on Western-dominated financial systems. Through these and other initiatives, the BRICS are fostering a more diversified and resilient global financial structure, signaling a pivotal shift in international trade and monetary policy. The recent announcement of a landmark agreement between Iran and Russia to completely eliminate the use of the US dollar in their bilateral trade represents a significant milestone in this broader dollarization movement. This development highlights the growing momentum and determination of nations to reduce their reliance on the dollar and assert greater control over their economic affairs. To better understand the context and implications of this new Iran-Russia agreement, it is important to examine the historical relationship between these two nations and their evolving strategic partnership. The relationship between Russia and Iran has evolved over several centuries, marked by periods of cooperation, conflict, and strategic partnership. Formal diplomatic and commercial ties between the Grand Duchy of Moscow and the Persian Empire date back to the 16th century during the Safavid dynasty. However, the 18th and 19th centuries saw a series of Russo-Persian wars, resulting in significant territorial losses for Persia and fueling long-standing Iranian resentment toward Russian expansionism. Following the 1917 Russian Revolution, the Bolshevik government sought to distance itself from the imperialist policies of the previous regime, leading to improved relations between the Soviet Union and Persia, later renamed Iran. 1921, the two nations signed the Russo-Persian Treaty of Friendship, further solidifying their cooperative ties. During World War II, Iran's strategic location and resources made it a focal point for Allied interests, leading to the Anglo-Soviet invasion and occupation of the country. This intervention heightened Iranian distrust of Soviet intentions and led to the Iran Crisis of 1946, one of the early confrontations of the Cold War. Under international pressure, the Soviet Union eventually withdrew its troops from northern Iran in 1946. The dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991 opened new avenues for Russia-Iran relations. In the 1990s, Russia became a key supplier of military equipment and nuclear technology to Iran, including assistance in constructing the Boucher nuclear power plant. This cooperation faced challenges due to international concerns over Iran's nuclear ambitions and pressure from Western nations. The 21st century has witnessed a significant strengthening of the Russia-Iran partnership, particularly evident during the Syrian civil war. Both nations provided substantial military and political support to the Assad regime, playing a pivotal role in altering the dynamics of the conflict and expanding their influence in the region. This collaboration marked a deeper military and political alignment between Russia and Iran, with profound implications for the geopolitical landscape of the Middle East. The start of the Russia-Ukraine conflict in February 2022 has further accelerated the deepening of the Russia-Iran alliance across military, economic, and political spheres. According to reports, Iran has supplied Russia with unmanned aerial vehicles, notably the Shahid-136 drones which have been utilized in the Ukraine conflict. Iran is also reportedly assisting Russia in establishing domestic drone production facilities, aiming to produce thousands of drones annually by 2025. Economically, both nations have sought to mitigate the impact of Western sanctions by enhancing bilateral trade and conducting transactions in their national currencies, reducing reliance on the US dollar. 
this strategy aims to circumvent international financial restrictions and bolster their economies amidst global isolation. Politically, Iran and Russia have coordinated their stances in international forums, presenting a united front against Western policies. Their partnership has extended to joint military exercises and intelligence sharing, further solidifying their strategic alliance. This shift stems from financial agreements previously established between the two nations. According to statements by Mohammad Reza Farzan, the governor of the Central Bank of Iran, the two countries have entered into a currency agreement that completely eliminates the use of the dollar in their trade. Transactions are now conducted exclusively in rubles and rials, with the financial authorities of both countries having reached an agreement on the exchange rates to facilitate foreign trade. The Kremlin has also announced that the use of national currencies in trade settlements between Iran and Russia increased by 12.4% in 2024, now accounting for 96% of all transactions. Earlier this year, in July, the central banks of Iran and Russia signed a currency swap agreement, further solidifying their financial collaboration. The integration of Russia's MIR payment system with Iran's Shatab network, launched in November 2023, represents another milestone in the two nations' efforts to bypass the U.S. dollar. This allows Iranian citizens to now withdraw cash from ATMs in Russia using Iranian bank cards, demonstrating the depth of their financial ties. Drivers of dollarization, concerns over economic sovereignty and sanctions. The persistent use of the U.S. dollar as a tool for political and economic influence has been a key driver behind the global movement toward dollarization. In the aftermath of the September 11th, 2001 attacks, the United States significantly expanded its use of economic sanctions and financial controls as instruments of foreign policy, a strategy often referred to as the weaponization of the U.S. dollar. U.S. government's enhanced financial surveillance and sanctioning capabilities, enabled by its oversight of the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication SWIFT, network, have allowed it to monitor and restrict international financial transactions. This control has enabled the U.S. to impose sanctions on foreign entities and individuals, effectively using the dollar as a means to enforce its foreign policy objectives. This increase in the use of the dollar as a geopolitical instrument has prompted several countries to pursue dollarization for the following reasons. 1. Economic sovereignty. Dollarization efforts aim to enhance a nation's ability to control its own economic policies, resources, and trade without external interference. By reducing reliance on the U.S. dollar, countries seek to mitigate vulnerabilities associated with U.S. sanctions and financial pressures, which have often been used to constrain their economic activities. 2. Trade flexibility. Engaging in trade using alternative currencies enables countries to broaden their economic partnerships and diminish reliance on the U.S. dollar. This approach offers several advantages as settling transactions in local or mutually agreed-upon currencies allows them to avoid potential sanctions or financial constraints associated with dollar-denominated trade. 3. Diversification and resilience. Utilizing multiple currencies in trade fosters economic ties with a wider array of countries, reducing dependence on any single economy. This diversification enhances the resilience of national economies against economic fluctuations and geopolitical tensions. Several countries have already taken steps to reduce their dependence on the U.S. dollar and pursue dollarization. Russia Russia has been at the forefront of the dollarization movement, particularly following the imposition of Western sanctions. The country has reduced the dollar's share in its national wealth fund and increased holdings in euros and other currencies. Russia has also developed the System for Transfer of Financial Messages SPFS as an alternative to the SWIFT network and has conducted significant trade with China in national currencies. China China has actively promoted the internationalization of its currency, the renminbi RMB. The country has established currency swap agreements with multiple nations and launched the Cross-Border Interbank Payment System CIPS, to facilitate RMB-denominated transactions. Chinese state-owned banks have also reduced interest rates on dollar deposits to encourage the use of the RMB. India India has explored mechanisms to trade with partners like Russia using national currencies, bypassing the US dollar. In March 2022, India and Russia entered into a ruble-rupee trade arrangement, allowing for transactions in their respective currencies. Brazil Brazil has engaged in dollarization by entering into agreements to trade in national currencies. In 2013, during the BRICS summit, 
Brazil made an agreement with China to trade in Brazilian real and Chinese renminbi. Saudi Arabia, in a significant shift, Saudi Arabia's finance minister stated in January 2023 that the kingdom is open to trading in currencies other than the US dollar, marking a potential move away from its historical reliance on the dollar for oil transactions. Turkey Turkey has initiated strategies to decrease its dependence on the US dollar in global commerce, aiming to establish trade without the use of the dollar with its international trading partners, including engaging in trade with China using local currencies. Iran Iran has sought alternatives to the dollar due to US sanctions, engaging in trade using other currencies and exploring the use of cryptocurrencies to facilitate international transactions. Southeast Asian nations, countries like Malaysia, Indonesia, and Thailand have considered dollarization to reduce their dependence on the US dollar, expressing the persistent trend toward dollarization poses significant strategic risks for the United States. A decline in global reliance on the dollar could erode the US's economic advantages, including lower borrowing costs and the ability to finance large deficits. It could also diminish the US's ability to influence global policies through economic measures, reducing its geopolitical leverage. To mitigate these risks, the US may need to reconsider its approach to sanctions and ensure that its currency remains an attractive and neutral medium for global trade. The shift away from the dollar's dominance could have profound implications for the global economy, potentially leading to higher borrowing costs, reduced global demand for US financial assets, and a weaker dollar. The global movement away from the US dollar, driven by concerns over economic sovereignty, trade flexibility, and resilience against geopolitical tensions, represents a significant shift in the international financial landscape. The recent Iran-Russia agreement to eliminate the use of the dollar in their bilateral trade is a notable milestone in this broader dollarization trend, reflecting the growing momentum and determination of nations to reduce their reliance on the dollar. As more countries seek alternatives to the dollar, the implications for the United States could be far-reaching potentially eroding its economic advantages and geopolitical leverage. The ongoing dollarization movement highlights the changing dynamics of the global financial system, signaling a pivotal shift in international economic and monetary policy. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as well as a sub so more people can see this.